Hello everybody and welcome back to another City Skylines episode with me, Russ Gultier. Today, I'm going to be talking about Road road Hierarchy. Something like that. I forget what the actual name of it is. But we're going to have to talk about Road Hierarchy. Because we need people to come and work over here. And we have a demand. So, we're going to build a little living space in this square right here. Just for them people to come and live and do their thing. Alright? So... In order to make your layout for your traffic as good as this is over here, right? It's not the greatest, but it follows the road hierarchy principle, right? So it reduce oh auto safe. So it reduces as much traffic as possible. What's my traffic at? My traffic is at 80. That's because of all the friggin' other stuff that I added in. <laughs> Cause that's just how it is. But whatever, you know, it's still it's still it's not bad. You know, it was a, I was at like 90 up until I started adding buses and stuff, but that's okay, you know. The more things you add, the better your, uh, the better it is. Sometimes this is going pretty good right here too. Look at that, all that stuff. So anyway, you want to go to in order to do road hierarchy, you want to go from your six lanes to your four lanes and then down to your two lanes. Okay, so the six lanes will only connect to the four lanes and then the four lanes will connect to both the six lanes and the two lanes and the two lanes will connect to the four lanes and other two lanes as well okay the thing is that you don't want to overdo your six lanes but you also don't want to underdo them I guess would be the correct term as well so for example here I know that this road here will most likely be the main road for all this traffic coming in that wants to go in and out of the city so for that reason I will make this road that's already a four lane road make it into a six lane road okay so I got six lane going on to six lane right then I got a six lane going this way and then I got a four lane coming this way because it shouldn't be that busy over here and then I got a six lane going right in the middle okay right in the middle and right on the outside so there we go now because this is a six lane, I would probably want to start connecting some four lanes to it, which I probably should have done, but I wasn't going to make this an area. So I could just move that right there, right? Delete this road. Delete this road. They're not going to like it yet. My bad. Delete that road. And then I bring the four lane out. Do I have a, uh, I do, I do, I do have one of these. Four lane out to there. Or lay note to there. Those are already existing. Might as well make use of them. This should be a six lane too, but whatever. It is what it is. And then we'll just simply put back our four lane right here. Okay, and then we'll connect these to there. And there we go. Done. And then we'll just move this one down to here. Oh. Hmm. Oops. The wrong button. And then there. And then if this gets too busy here, I'll just delete this. Do it like that instead. There we go. So now we got our four lanes. Go into a two lanes into a six lanes. Now let's, let's work on this upper area up here. Okay. So you got your four lane. You got your six lane right there. Obviously that's a little bit too close to uh to put a thing right here that would just cause more problems so we're gonna just put it down here a bit more let's just put it around here uh, I can't do a 90 degree angle because a 90 degrees goes out this way and uh, I can't do that so let's just put it up this way maybe at like a 70 degree angle and I want it to go to yeah about there and then connect to there there we go hopefully that was like three notes one two uh, yeah that's fine okay and then from there we'll connect these already existing six lanes or four lanes I mean but go on like this uh, right there yeah that should be okay and there we go and then we can take these lanes and we can bring them out here as well if we want to so let go like this maybe and just bring it back this way actually do I need to do that no not really because I'm not putting a six lane out here I lied Let's not do that. Let's just make this two lane. There we go. Okay. So we got our six lane. 
Okay, it can connect to another six lane as well. If you're expecting a lot of traffic, connect the six lane to the six lane. If you're expecting traffic to go down at some point, connect the six lane to the four lane. Like that, and then just bring the four lane all the way around. Okay, so I expect traffic to come along this six lane road down to here, and then join up, join up with these four lane roads eventually. Okay, so let's just let's just put these out this way. Straight this road out. Connect it up to this road. And connect this road to that road. Then this road to that road. There we go. There's a little area right there. Not too complicated. Well, up there anyway. We gotta do down here still, obviously. Not too complicated, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. Don't know why. Delete that road. Alrighty. There we go. This one right there. Perfect. And now we have a nice, well, a reasonably nice little area. <laughs> Not the greatest, but it'll do. It'll do. I was going to put down a, uh, a policy, but I guess I won't because apparently they don't need it. I'm going to just do it anyway. Because that's just how I am. I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. In worst case scenario, just delete the policy. You know, worst case scenario. Then inside this district, we're going to go to policies. We're going to turn off the for parks, the book fair. I'm gonna turn off this too. Uh, encourage biking. We don't need that on. And okay, what's high tech housing? I don't think I need this. No. Um, I'm gonna put on schools out. That's the one I'm looking for. The citizens will prefer working over education, and only a small portion of the eligible citizens will go to the study in the university. So most of them would prefer to work. Okay. Now, because they're in, they're near both industrial areas, I hope that's what happens. And they're also near a park, so I should probably turn on that park one again. There we go. I also, for this district here, we need to repaint this district. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, that's good. All of this stuff here should be okay. Pulls out higher prison and recycle. Uh, we're gonna give you guys a free Wi Fi. No, we're not. I lied. That just increased tourism. We don't need that yet for that area. So I lied. Alrighty, there we go. Perfecto. Now we're gonna just plop in the stuff, okay? That's pretty easy. For the most part, you want your commercial to be on the six lane roads. For the most part, like this. Let's just pause it. Now, like I said, I always leave the first intersection. So on this part, I always leave it blank because I don't want cars to stop anywhere on here. If they want to turn, I want them to get off right away. But then after that, I like, I like to put them here. Just like this. Oops, not like that. Get out of here. Bad. This one up here too. There we go. This is what I like to do anyway. You can do whatever, but I like to put the commercial on the six lane road. And then sometimes I'll just plop it in random areas just so that the people are most likely to grow there. Like over here, for example, there's a highway right there. So no one's gonna really wanna go up here. So to eliminate the noise, I'm gonna put all this commercial back around here as well. Just like that, that should be okay. There we go. I'm gonna put some commercial down that road. And that should be okay. There we go. And then they're gonna want jobs, but hopefully I'm gonna get them to go into these areas. That would be great. Okay, so let us put in some of these houses now. Right? And you can put the houses pretty much wherever. Doesn't really matter for the houses. There we go. We can also do is you can also put in just random blocks of like apartment kind of things to make it bring out the area more. Which I think I did over here somewhere. 
I think I did that over here. Yeah, see how it just kind of brings it out more? Which will look not so like this. Makes <laughs> it makes it look a lot different. See what I'm saying? So there you go. Make it look a little bit interesting. Right? Just a little bit here and there, you know? You apply I like to do like one for each block. If it's like a big block like this, I'll do like two or three sometimes. Uh, sometimes you just do two. But yeah, there you go. Just pop them anywhere. Anywhere you can. Anywhere you want. And then they just do the rest of it uh, small. And then if you realize as you're building it up that, hey, I want to actually put one over here, just plop it in there real quick, you know? Just plop it in like that. Nothing wrong with that. There you go. And then we could even do this, right? You know, whatever works. Whatever works for you. You can do your city however you want to do it. Right? You don't got to listen to me. I'm just showing you, you know, how to how to build it up, how to make it, how to keep it growing, how to keep it going. That's the motto. Keep it growing, keep it going. That is the motto I live by every day. There we go. Perfect. I don't think there's anything else I want to do this area, because if I make it into into this, right? Oh, why is it not empty? Fill that out. Why is it not empty? If I make it into these, what what's the policy on this? Isn't there uh made into this? Here we go self-sufficient buildings that's what these are right and look they look pretty fancy smancy right but i don't want these over near the factories because this, this doesn't do anything the high-tech housing i have absolutely no idea why that's even on over here because there's nothing over here <laughs> whoops there's no buildings over here so i don't know why that's even on to be totally honest um let's just Remove the high-tech building thing from here. I don't think it'll do anything, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. What we'll do is we'll put it over here. Okay, I wasn't going to do the high-tech housing. We'll put it over here anyway. I think over here it has high-tech housing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't think anything over here has high-tech housing. That's the uh, industry thing. It's, these are self-sufficient buildings because they got all this grass stuff. And because they're near the park, so we'll just do high tech housing over here by itself. Whatever. And then you know what? I said we weren't gonna put in schools, but just in case, I will add in some stuff. Okay. Now I don't think they'll go to the university. And I'm not gonna put that in here. Because I don't want them to go to the university. I do want them to level up though. So I will I will put that there. There we go, look at that. Oh, they got sad for some reason. What did they get sad at? What did they get sad at? Everybody got sad. The huge wave of sadness happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Whatever it was. Okay, well, whatever. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in, as usual, we're gonna put in our one, whoops, one thing busway. Okay, because I like using this. I don't know why. I just like using it. There you go. Yeah, they like it. Let's see. Here we go. Let's just drag this over here, actually. Oop. What the heck is going on there? Uh, well, you know what? Sure, you can use the highway. I don't mind. If that's what makes it quicker. Then you do you. Oh, wait, what the heck? What is going on here with this line? Oh, that's, that's something else. Okay, so it's going to come in this way. Go up th this way. Go that way around and then back down again. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You know what? Just use the highway. That's fine. Using the highway to go out, I'm okay with that. So the high-tech housing, I guess, looks like this. 
Uh, I don't really see a difference. Uh, however, I didn't really want them to look fancy. I wanted them to look kind of like this. Kind of like old and bleh, you know? That's what I wanted them to look, to look like. So, I'm going to just make some of these historical. Oh, that's because they probably went to school. No, uneducated five. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So, hopefully, I'm going to come and work over here now, right? Because these need these oil. And there's not enough oil, apparently. How is there not enough oil? Natural resource. Uh oh, did it, did it suck up all the oil already? Oh, it did. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Sucked up all the oil already. Dang. So let's put that over there. Let's put this one over here. This one over here. Sucked up all the oil. Jeez, okay. Well, <laughs> you want to use this DLC. Make sure you have unlimited resources on. Otherwise, you're gonna keep moving stuff. I don't want to keep moving stuff. Is that was going on over here too. No, this is there's just some chaos going on over here. Nothing too big. They they got it. There you go. Get that fire. There you go. Good job. Good job. Okay. Some people are working over here, which is good. Got some uneducated. I got some educated. It's all good. It's going well over there. This will build up. It needs more commercial though. So I'm gonna just, oh, there's a commercial right here. Build up, you fools. There's no commercial over here though. Of course, I somehow miss a road. Who knows how, but I did. There we go, it's building up commercial. Look at that. Now I'm gonna assume that this will build up eventually, no? Does it wanna, I guess? I don't know why it's not building up here. This is oil, right? Yeah, I got the oil stuff on there. So I'm wondering if I had to delete this. Should I get rid of this stuff? Is that what's holding me back right now? Is all this crap right here? Delete that and get rid of it, see what happens. Maybe they'll go somewhere else, maybe? No, it's still 736. Well, maybe they'll go somewhere else. Let's just see what happens. This building up over here, too. And there we go. Now they're building stuff over here, too. Perfect. These are building up, too, because I placed them there. See? There we go. These are running out of resources though. That's not good. That's very bad for us. So I think I might turn on the natural resources to keep these from having to be spread out everywhere. Because I want them to do their thing, you know? I want them to do their thing. This is not going very well right here. I'm just not doing it. I'm not cutting it, you know? Oh, there we go. I got my oil up. Hooray. Level two oil. Yeah, let's add in some oil stuff before we end the, stuff, the show. I got, I got a worker's barracks, which I'm not gonna add. Got a small oil drill rig. Okay. Rig it for extracting oil industry raw materials from an underground reservoir. Extractor needs to be placed on oil field inside industry area. Okay. Easy, easy mode. Let's just put this over here. So this is this small oil drill. Do I have this already? Pretty sure I do, right? Sludge thing? That's the crude stuff. Where's the sludge thing? Oil sludge. Yeah, yeah, I got two of them. Because I'm a maniac. <laughs> ah, here we go. Want this for plastic. Gotta make plastic, you know? There we go. I got that. Crude oil storage. Do I even have this? I must have it, right? Small warehouse. Mm, I don't think I have this. Let's just add this in. I don't. I'm pretty sure I do somewhere, but I don't know where I put it because <laughs> I I spread them out. Spread them out when I shouldn't. This is not getting any people. You know what? Let's just delete these too. We'll just delete all this stuff from here, and we'll delete it over here too. It keeps rebuilding, so it's just taking my workers away. That's all it's doing, and I want them to go into here. I want them to go into here is what I want them to do. So I'm going to probably, I can get 385 workers in there right now without having to do anything. This one is not going up yet, but I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping it will. Okay. Let's add in. I was going to end the show, but you know, or the episode, I mean, but you know, you know me doing stuff. <laughs> 
Let's add in this building. This is a household plastic factory. So I need crude oil and I need plastics. And I just put in a plastic factory, so I'm gonna put this. Hopefully over here is where I was gonna put it, but I guess the slope's too steep. So okay. Game. I see how it is. See how it is. There we go. And then I'm gonna add in a warehouse. A store. The unique factory products. There we go. Okay, let's just bunk that up and see what happens. This also needs to be moved again. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna turn on the uh, the unlimited resources because as you can see, it it sucks all the resources away to this, and uh, not good. <laughs> it is actually a pain in the butt to use it that way. So I'm gonna just turn on the unlimited resources so I don't gotta keep changing it. Then I can do it however I want to do it, you know? Do it how I want to do it. Uh, let's delete this too. It's doing pretty good. It's looking good too. But like I said, I want them to go over and actually work in these factories over here. So I'm going to need more people. This is at 218.20 already. This is at 111. So that's going to level up soon too. And I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to make a little quick little video on how to do road hierarchy, right? And then uh, the, we just solve the problem they look like they're solved because I'm getting people now so we solved that we did all that other stuff quick little video for you guys I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye